Good morning, MMT. It's 9.36. It's 8.10.2013. The dog days of August are upon us. Let's take a look at the VIX. What's it called? This is a weekly VIX. It's a $13 call. What we want to let you know is that the VIX on a uh, weekly chart here is hitting a major bottom of $1.80 per contract. It's very, very cheap that when the S&P 500 from its multi-year high up here that we already have in a video there how to short the S&P 500 index I'm buying a $1,700 put the $1,700 put on the monthly regular S&P for the various different short time frames in there as a market maker level and those options is how do I get those entries and those exits at wholesale prices based on directional overall movement and seasonality of the markets. It's the dog days of August. So we do have a reversal that we've told everyone about and one of the things that I can surely tell you that if you go to trading You will see here that on 8.6, we already said the S&P 500 daily versus weekly chart summary rally is over. It's here. There's your date. It's on the SMF market maker site. All of them live trades during live hours. Saturdays, what do we do? We do this. We set up and make more money or trades we were in last week. So based on the fact that this is wholesale. So if I'm buying 100 contracts at, let's say, $20,000, the guy that owned 100 contracts up here at $6.50, that would be $65,000 value. I'm down here. I'm the market maker. And I understand which way this chart here, the SPX, is reversing on its weekly level, just as it did here. So... I want to be able to get on reversals I want to buy the calls because when the VIX goes higher in value you know when the VIX trades up in value the fear indicator goes higher then that means we're going to come down and test that moving average weekly moving average on the S&P from the 1700 strike it puts some $40 in the money we already told you that the low on the contract of the $1,700 put on the S&P 500 monthly September regular was $25. So go look at that other video there. Get on that website and do that MMT. I don't want you missing it. If you were going to buy up and out of the money, so you need to know how these things are going to work and why I want the VIX calls. It's, it's very simple. Because when you're selling down in the S&P 500, you're going to want those. So let's just make it that way. And here is the VIX chart. It's a weekly level. It put a bottom in as well. And when, when the markets put a, a bottom in the last reversal that we called for on 522 and went down, when, when that started reversing, that's when the six-week rally that we just went through one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. We went through six weeks of a very nice summer bull rally. And that was to the bull and that was parabolically up to make all the highs in the earnings season that we we're just coming off of played a major role. And here we are in the major dog days of August. And we're looking at the various pricing components to get paid within the overall market maker trade management. Wholesale entry, retail exit. It's that simple. So here is the weekly. We're down here at the lows when this breaks higher on a weekly level. So when this candle, if we start a new weekly one on Monday and we go up, but we're going to test these weekly moving averages. So... You know, we're not looking, look at, it's a short-term trade off of the bottom. If you have 100 contracts and you take 80 cents, that's $8,000. I don't care how anyone looks at it. Or maybe it goes higher. But we're going to test these weekly moving averages up here. So that's a 50-week on the red line. And the blue line there, that's a 10-week. Right now, it's going to have to 
to, to break through this 20 week. It didn't do it here. It surely didn't do it here. And now, well, the body of the whole body of the, the movement suggests that it's up toward the highs here and it's green out of the five trading days that we have for the first calendar week of August, really. And so the thing about it is we have that uptick. Based on low, low volume, these things, you're not going to have a big breakout like you did in the middle of 2000 and on 522 of 2013 where it started. No, um, it does have to start. We want to see it start up with a gap. So basically, you can clearly see that people are very complacent. They're not, they have no fear at all in the market. None whatsoever. It's all in these red bars. So that's your six week rally. Okay. And you got one week up. And that's exactly what the S&P did right here. See three weeks, four, five, six to the top. There's your seventh. And then understanding how to use various different components within the broader movements of these components. S&P 500 being the culprit there so we're going to make money here we can make money on the the VIX calls and we can also make money on this too here is a weekly pro share ultra short SQQQ MMT now take a look at it it too is down here at the bottom on a weekly level so if those other two if the VIX calls are going to pay if the $1,700 puts, which are paying right now, if those are continued to go higher and we have the reversal in the S&P 500, well, then this too will move up in value. But you would have to have heavy volume. So once again, let's say you got 5,000 shares here. Okay. The bottom is only 22.53 cents. That's two and a half, two and a half, you know, a little over a quarter million dollars buying power. Don't worry about buying power. We provide you that depending on, you know, after we have our interview when you're in the market maker division. $28 is up here. So if you get paid, but you have to have heavier volume. And it's just another way. There's other bear ones. I'm not going to go into it. But I will get the, the, the general new MMTs and the current ones that we know around the globe is that you know what to expect. So, happy trading on Monday, and there will be some other ones that we look at too. We'll be looking at the SDS. Why will we be looking at it? Um, it's at a bottom. It's a ultra short S&P 500. Here it is. It's at a weekly bottom, so it can go up to $40 there. That's a $4 movement, or it can test up there. Depending on how the SPX tests the 10-week moving average in the following dog days of August. Remember, the earnings are out of the way, MMT. It's been a bull, remarkable year for an actual true summer rally that had six weeks to the high reversal. This is the seventh week. But it also had six weeks going down when we called this reversal. So now, again, it's time to make money and using the various instruments. Some are overnight. Of course, the options are always overnight. Some of the ETFs are overnight. And then there are some intraday trades that can be done to also add money on the balance sheet as well. Looking forward to trading this with all of the new MMTs and the current ones that we have at the BD side, the prop side, the prop division, those people are going to want to come over here and participate. And it's okay with us. We, we like those because these are directional rallies. This is great bull and bear.